In this video, I will be showing you some PWM experiments. I will be using LED, logic analyzer and motor. Uh, first one is LED. So you can see that I have connected LED to the Arduino and uh, the code which I will be using in this experiment is given in the link below. You can use it. Now you can see that I am using uh, pin number 3, that is D3 and uh, I'll be using UR to send the value and I'll be applying that to the PWM function that is analog write. Now let me upload this. Done uploading. Okay, now you can see the serial monitor. Now this should be no line ending should be selected. First let me send a hundred. Now you can see that LED glows. Let me send one. You can see that intensity is reduced to a minimal level. And I'll send zero. It's off. And the maximum value is two fifty five. For Arduino, this is the value. You can see that it is full. Let me send fifty. You can see that intensity bit reduced twenty. Fine. Okay, now I'll show you how that PWM wave looks like. Let me connect a logic analyzer and show you that. I'm using a locus logic analyzer. Okay, so here the ground pin is uh, ground to ground. You connect. Now let me send 100 in scanning let me start scanning you can see the pulse Arduino PWM operates at 500 Hertz so that's the maximum frequency you could achieve from this uh, there are uh, there are different hardwares for example stm32 and uh, like other hardwares i have uh, inbuilt uh, pwms controllers which can go up to 20 hertz even more than that 50 hertz also 50 sorry 50 kilohertz also so uh, it's it's depends upon your application so this frequency plays a major role so based on your application, you choose the controller. If your application needs uh, 20 kilowatts or 30 kilowatts sampling rate, then you need better uh, hardware. PWM access a digital low cost DAC. So a DAC has a uh, two functions two variables one is the frequency and another one is the resolution so the higher the frequency you will get the better resolutions this Arduino can go up to 255 that is of the 8-bit resolution okay let me let me change it to one and show you how uh, the wave changes. Okay. You can see that the on cycle, this is on cycle, this is off cycle. So the on cycle is very low. You can see it's one point only. So out of this uh, uh, full cycle, it is just one point. 
let me send the maximum that is full value that is of 255 let's scan it's on it's on this way it is completely on so let me send something around uh, 2450 You, you can see that on cycle is high and off cycle is low. Off cycle has a very limited value. Okay, that's all about the uh, analyzer part. So now you can see this. Uh, you can see the schematic. So this goes to the Arduino D3 pin and you have a, a low cost driver. Uh, I'll give you this. This is a bit cheap. You can buy it in, uh, buy it online. Uh, for uh, adding one one and a half dollar, you will get hundred pieces. And you here you have a motor which is connected. And this one, this one, this five volt supply is a separate supply. I use a mobile charger for this. Now let's do the connection. Now let me first let me send zero. Let me increase the speed slightly. You can hear that motor running. I'll make it 50. Now let me make it 100. Thank you.